my channel. Um, today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing my current favorites. I'm not going to do monthly favorites because I don't want to commit to that because I just might not have favorites every month. But I'm going to try and do it once a month, maybe every two months, maybe every three months. But I'm going to keep you up to date with my current favorites every once in a while. I don't have that many right now, but these are all things that I've had for at least the past month or so, and I'm loving them. Like, I wanna make sure I actually love things before I tell you that they're my favorites. I don't want to use it once or twice and be like, oh yeah, I like it, because you can't always tell. Sometimes you just like it because it's a new product. I'm gonna start off first with, oh my gosh, this right now is my ultimate favorite because it is still snowing outside here in Vancouver, and it's so cold. Every once in a while it'll go sunny and then it'll go snowy again and so it's snowing like crazy right now. Lately I've been using this e.l.f. Um, lip exfoliator. It works wonders. My lips have been so dry and it's it looks like a lipstick almost but it's not. You wind it up and it's like granulate. Like it has granules in it and as you put it on your lips you literally see like the dead skin coming off your lips. And it's so nice. I put it on like before I go to bed or if I know I'm going to be wearing like a matte lipstick. I always find when I wear matte lipsticks that throughout the day, even though it lasts all day, my lips get really dry. So I'll put this on like in the morning and I'll exfoliate my lips first and then I'll put my, my matte lipstick on. And it usually does the job, but until then I'm trying to find something else because these matte lipsticks, I don't understand why like, you know, six hours later, it's still on my lips and all nice, but I start to get like dry. Maybe I need like a lip primer. But speaking of matte lipsticks, right now this is my favorite lipstick. It's the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Bow and Arrow. I've been wearing it a lot. I wore it on Valentine's Day. I've worn it like to church on Sundays. I've been wearing it quite frequently because it's such a neutral color. And I love nude colors. I'm not really a bold, a bold makeup kind of person, as you can tell. Like I have a full face of makeup on right now, but it's oh natural because I like to be oh natural. <laughs> but yeah, so this is one of my favorites. It's super affordable in comparison to a lot of the liquid lipsticks. Um, they have a Stila one, which my mom has, and I loved it. But it was like, I think it's like 32 bucks or something for one. This one is only $23, which it's almost $10 cheaper. So go get you some, it's bomb. On the makeup tip, this foundation has been my ultimate favorite. It's Makeup Forever, their Ultra HD stick. I spoke about it a little bit in my Get Ready With Me. This is in the color 173Y445. And it literally has the best coverage and the lightest weight. Like I don't feel it, and but I can see the coverage but it doesn't look to the point where like I look cakey. I'm wearing it right now actually, so do I look cakey? No, I don't. I know I don't. <laughs> it's awesome, it's awesome. It is a little expensive. I think it was like $54 or something, 50 something dollars, maybe $51, but it's foundation. I also have like my cheaper foundations, which, sorry. I have my cheaper foundations, the Fit Me. If I'm gonna go cheap, I go with Fit Me. Maybelline's Fit Me brand is my ultimate favorite, but um, they're not my current favorites. I've literally been using um, the Maybelline Fit Me's for years. So I'm pretty sure since they came out with them. Okay, so I recently bought these brushes, these makeup brushes, because I've been seeing them everywhere, and I was like, let me just give them a try. So these Owa brushes, when I first, bought them, I was a little skeptical because I was like, they kind of look weird, like they look like a legit hairbrush, but they are so soft. Like you put it on your face and it feels so good. Like honestly, even just going like this is so nice. It's so good. I love it. And I got a pack of 10 from, this is from my makeup set, no, mymakeupbrushes.com or .ca, no .com, mymakeupbrushes.com. Super cheap. I got a whole set of 10 of them. I usually use like only four out of the 10 or five maybe. But um, I think I got them on sale for like 20 bucks. If I remember correctly. But they're super affordable. Way more cheaper than like the average makeup brush sets. And this. Okay, so I've been having this obsession lately with home decor. 
I've been like literally like throwing away stuff and like making new things or taking my old things that I have around my house and like remodeling them. Like I'll be painting them and doing all sorts of stuff. And so I wanted to have like a frame collage over my couch in my living room and I almost ordered a bunch of like little quote quote prints off of Etsy. You can buy the downloads and print them yourself. And they were super cheap. They were like three bucks a piece. So I was gonna get a few of those. But then I went to Michael's and I found this book and it's like a bunch of frameable quotes in there. There's literally like 60 sheets in there with frameable quotes. And what I like is that they're not just a bunch of random quotes. Like there's good quotes. There's like bless this home and all who enter. Um, let's see if I can find. And they're all like with my theme that I've been trying to go for lately. The whole black and gold and white or whatever and gray. Here's one. Hello, darling. Um, they're super cute. I love them. Let's see. This says, may the love, may love be the heart of this home. Mm. Yeah, there's super cute ones. Dream big, live bigger. And yeah, you get the point. And I'm absolutely loving this book. And I got this book. It was originally $29.99. And I would not have paid $29.99 for it. Because, I don't know, this seems like a lot of money to me. But, Michaels always has coupons online. So I got a 55% off coupon online. And I ended up paying like $13 for it. It was super cheap. And I got some gold paint and white paint. So by the end of my, my whole purchase, I ended up paying like less than this originally cost for this along with some paint and some brushes and a bunch of other stuff and I thought that was a good steal. Um, I bought frames for these at Ikea but um, I think I need more. I bought some gold and white frames but I want some more frames so I haven't started putting it up on my wall yet. And then last but not least, this book that I'm about to pick up has literally been life to me lately. Not a, okay, no, yeah, it's been life to me. It honestly has been. It's The Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. If you don't have this book, go get you one, literally. This book, um, I can say that it gives me life. Why? Because it has scriptures in it, so it's biblical. At the bottom of each devotion, or whatever you want to call this, there's scriptures at the bottom of it that relate to the, um, the, the devotion on top. And what I love about this book is that it's written as if God is speaking to you. And each, it's all about peace. And so literally I can read the same, it's, there's one a day. So literally I could read the same one a day, like throughout the whole day, maybe like three, four, five times. Because whenever I find myself getting anxious or worried or frustrated or whatever, I'll pick up this book and I'll just read it. And literally, I can just feel God just speaking to me, like calming me down. Like I can literally feel his peace. Um, today is what? February 27th. Let me read today's for you, just so you can get a little taste. It says, keep your eyes on me. Remember, this is God speaking. She wrote it in that way. Um, Sarah Young, this is actually like her journal. And so she would write down the words that she felt the Lord was speaking to her. So it says, keep your eyes on me. Waves of adversity are washing over you and you feel tempted to give up. As your circumstances consume more and more of your attention, you are losing sight of me. Yet I am always with you, holding you by your right hand. I am fully aware of your situation and I will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able to bear. Your, your gravest danger is worrying about tomorrow. If you try to carry tomorrow, if you try to carry tomorrow's burdens today, you will stagger under the load and eventually fall flat. You must discipline yourself to live within the boundaries of today. It is the present moment that I will walk close to you, helping you carry your burdens. Keep focus on my presence in the present. Like I love it. It just it just brings you back to focus and just remember reminds you that just focus on on him. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Like throughout the day, so many things can happen. Like throughout the day, and it's such a simple reminder. Like no, just focus on me. Just focus on Jesus. Just look to him. Like yeah, this may be going on, but there's an eternal perspective. Like that's just temporary. What you're going through right now. So yeah, I love this book and it's one a day and it's, it's an awesome way to start your day, to end your day, to pick up during your lunch break or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, that's everything for my current favorites. I got my 
my makeup Stephanie Stubbs, my exfoliator from Elle, the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, my stick foundation from Makeup Forever, my oval brushes from MyMakeupBrushSet.com, uh, my frameable quotes from Michaels, and my Jesus Calling Devotions by Sarah Young. I hope you guys found some new favorites or go ahead and try them out. I think you'll love them just as much as I do. Um, comment down below if you have any suggestions for anything that I should try out. And stay tuned for our next another video, sorry. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because there are more awesome videos to come. I love you guys. God bless. Bye.